What's going on, Chicago? I hope everybody's having a good week. It's your guy, Jimmy, here. Don't mind me. My, I'm having a bad hair day. I went to a new barber and he fucked up my head. Um, but it'll grow back. I'm even thinking about maybe dying it fucking black or something. But I got some news for you guys. This week, actually today, were the opening statements of a new mob trial going on in Chicago. I didn't even know about it. Normally, I know a couple weeks, couple months in advance. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend the opening statements today. That's usually the best part of the trial, along with closing arguments. I won't be able to go tomorrow because I got to go to that fucking DMV. Got a few appointments in the afternoon as well. But I'm going to try to make it down to the court building this Friday. And yes, it's at the Dirksen Federal Building. That's where all the major federal trials are. A building I'm very familiar with right there on Jackson and Dearborn. You can easily take the blue line there. It drops you off right in front. You walk in, show your ID. And as long as your name's not on that blacklist, you walk through the metal detector and you're in. But this is going to be an interesting trial. It's been a while. It's about two defendants, two Chicago Outfit associates that are accused of uh, using violence to collect on a loan. One of the defendants, Chicago Outfit associate out of Addison, Illinois, in his 50s, is Jack Galeone. He's represented by top criminal defense attorney, Mob attorney, if you will, Thomas Breen. Tom Breen, I've got to uh, meet over the years at the Dirksen Federal Building and also at 26 in California. Uh, if you're ever in trouble, you definitely uh, call Tom Breen. He's connected. He knows everybody. He loves to have a drink, and he's quite a quite the character. Uh, he represented little Jimmy during the Family Secrets trial, and he argued that when Nick Calabrese testified that little Jimmy was one of the guys made during the making ceremony. He balked at that saying, well, Jimmy Marcello is half Irish. So how could he be a made member of the Chicago outfit? But Tom Breen is representing uh, this guy here, uh, Galeone. And trust me, Galeone's going to need all the help he could get. The other defendants, probably the main defendants, is... Um, Gene Cassano, another Chicago Outfit associate in his 50s out of Addison, Illinois. Gene owns a very successful video poker machine company. Gene is the one that loaned the victim in the case, government's witness. Gene loaned him $10,000, and he was livid that Luigi was ducking him, ghosting him, not paying him. So the government alleged that Gene Cassano, this man here, sent a couple of henchmen to tune up Luigi. This guy is being represented by top defense attorney Damian Chiros, a friend of mine. I first met Damian Chiros during the Family Secrets trial in 2007 when he represented crooked cop Chicago Offit Associate Anthony Chuan Doyle. Him and his attorneys uh, told Chuan Doyle to keep his mouth shut and not testify. After seeing Joey Lombardo and Frank Calabrese fail on the stand, Chuan thought it was a good idea for him to get up there and try to outduel Mitch Mars and Marcus Funk. He didn't listen to Damian Churros and he failed and was found guilty. Damian Chiros also represented high-ranking outlaw motorcycle gang member Mark Polchman at the Mike Sarno trial. He also represented that Chomo Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> now, I've never seen Damian Chiros win, but again, one of the best attorneys. And Gene, you're going to need him in this trial. Um, now, these guys are faxing, facing a maximum of up to 20 years in prison. You know, the feds always push for the most. And at first, uh, Luigi, who testified today, he uh, wasn't going to come forward. Uh, two FBI agents uh, approached him, started asking him questions when he was at Starbucks about his injuries to his face. 
and uh, about the beatdown. And he kind of brushed it off as just a, a minor gambling incident. But it was Luigi's fucking wife, who I'm sure is in court. I'm sure I'll see her Friday if I go. Uh, she demanded and put pressure on Luigi to come forward. And that's what started uh, this whole in in investigation. But this trial is going to be uh, very interesting because it's going to extend into a widespread investigation of the Chicago outfit. Gambling, prostitution out of the notorious Elmwood Park crew. Now, from what I heard, Damian Churros really pressed and attacked Luigi on the stand, uh, calling him uh, an admitted drug smuggler, accusing him of the reason he wanted the $10,000 loan. He was going to buy hundreds of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, drugs and ship them from Mexico to Chicago in semi-trucks. Uh, Luigi denied that. The government also has a witness. This guy is a fentanyl drug dealer who operated an illegal casino. He was a paid informant by the government. Once the government cut him off, all of a sudden he has a fresh memory of how defendant here, Gene, talked him through how Luigi was beaten, beat down. So again, here's the government cutting a deal with a lowlife to go after their targets. Now here's a drug dealer, a fentanyl drug dealer, who had his own gambling operation. Once the government cut off their weekly checks to him, payments, he decides to cooperate against him. So right away, that's questionable. But uh, that'll be another real interesting uh, government witness to see on the stand. So if I attend this trial, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys informed. It seems to me like it's, uh, it should be pretty interesting, short and sweet. I like uh, some of the defense attorneys there, not familiar with the prosecutor or judge. Um, so I will, guys, I will keep you posted on uh, the trial here. Again, uh, two defendants are on trial for using violence to uh, ex uh to collect on a gambling debt. And this indictment is just part of a wider investigation into the Chicago outfit. So just when we think the Chicago outfit is dead, which it pretty much is compared to the uh, glory days, obviously there's still a little bit of act activity around. The federal government will not stop. And if you're on their radar, radar you better watch out. So I will definitely keep you guys informed. It should be a pretty good trial. And uh, who knows, there might be more indictments and more trials uh, coming up. But if you're interested in going to trials, again, whether it's Chicago, New York, Philly, or any small hick town, trials are open to the public. Any one of us can go. Stay tuned. Take care, guys.